The owner of the Holiday Inn brand, Intercontinental Hotels, has just reported its latest earnings. Its first half operating profit rose to $269 million, beating analysts' estimates. It's also announced a higher dividend. For more on these results, let's talk to the chief executive of Intercontinental Hotel Group, Richard Solomons. Richard, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Where's the growth coming from? Uh, pretty much all over the world, Owen, actually. We've seen growth in all of our major markets. In the US, we're up about 8%. In uh, China, we're up about 12%. But it's been pretty consistent across the world in the first half. Hotels are particularly vulnerable to uh, economic headwinds. And my word, it's blowing a gale out there right now. This must worry you. Well, there's not much we can do about the short term, whether it's share prices or anything else. But if you actually look at the long term trends for hotels and you look at demographics, and you look at what's happening in emerging markets, actually, the signs are good for demand. And, uh, you know, even in the US, we're pretty much seeing record demand levels in terms of room nights. Yes, that's all very well right now. But there is a lot of talk that America might well fall into a double dip recession. And if that happens, that is going to affect all of us, including Interconti. Yeah, no, there's no question it would have some effect. But I think, you know, as you look today, we've got, uh, we opened probably about 25,000 rooms in our first half. We've got a pipeline of nearly 200,000. So the hotel business is a long term game. So you've got people who are investing for the long term and they're not necessarily worrying too much about the short term. But even if there is a downturn, and I'm not an economist, I can't predict it, that our business model and the fact that the core of our business is in that mid scale market with Holiday Inn, which we just relaunched through a $1 billion program recently. We actually are well placed to deal with uh, the uh, market if there is a downturn. Now, you have a, a number of brands, a number of chains. Where's the biggest growth coming from? What's doing best? The, I mean, the broadly, I guess, the, the holiday in business is very solid. The fastest growth is still out in Asia and still out in China. And uh, we're seeing a, lo a lot of supply added, and, but huge growth in demand. And, and really, uh, the best link is where, over the long term is where you see GDP growth. And in the short term, it's more about corporate profitability. But uh, Asia is still the fastest percentage growth, even if the US is the biggest piece of our business still. How has booking via mobile technology helped your business? And, and, and have you adopted, you adapted your marketing strategy to reflect the new technologies? Yeah, we have. I mean, we've always been at the cutting edge of technology. We actually were the first hotel company to allow booking on the internet. And so we've been putting a lot of efforts behind mobile apps now, right across all the platforms, iPhone, Android, and so on. Uh, and we're seeing a huge increase in that business from literally very little last year to 70 odd million in the first half this year. And it's about actually giving guests what they want. And guests want to book on the go and they want to get rooms for that night and therefore you need to respond to it. Um, so. Sorry, As, sorry, what proportion, could I ask you, are direct bookings and what proportion are actually from third party sites? Overall, the majority of the bookings into our hotels are direct. So well over half of people book direct through our systems or into our hotels. The third party sites are, are very small, sort of somewhere between 5 and 10% overall. So important, but uh, not a large piece of our business. Are you seeing new trends emerging in destination choices? Um, I guess, you know, the, the, the good old stalwarts still work and, you know, we've just signed a, a big deal in Las Vegas, which remains a very big market. So uh, I wouldn't say we are. I think uh, the interesting trend really is that leisure business overall, i.e. sort of non-business travel, uh, has been going up. And even in the worst of the last downturn, we saw leisure business grow and we're still seeing it. So people are just traveling more. It's almost like uh, a fact of life now that people travel and we're seeing that generally across the piece. And if leisure business is growing. What about the crucial business travel? Is that seeing an upswing or are you still quite concerned about demand as you look forward into the second half? No, well, certainly uh, looking forward is, is difficult. Our business has always been relatively low visibility, but the trends and the momentum out of the first half with business travel have been strong. And corporate profitability has been strong, so uh, you know, we're, we're, we're feeling reasonably confident about the second half and uh, about the business overall. And how are you I, aiming to grow? You're not the sort of company that goes in for big acquisitions. No, no, we haven't been. Uh, as I mentioned, we've got a pipeline of nearly 200,000 rooms, so that's sort of a third increase in the size of the business today. So we can grow fast without acquisitions. Richard Solomons from Intercontinental Hotel Group, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thanks, Owen.